Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Colin, call sign MM0PX, and here in Scotland, spring seems to have finally sprung. Um, today we had a high of 15 degrees, so it was a lovely day. And um, with that and um, daylight savings time, I've got a little bit more um, time in the evenings to uh, play with antennas in daylight. Um, so with that, I thought I would test out an antenna that I built. Um, not entirely sure when, but getting on for a year ago. It was certainly um, invented, or the idea was invented a year ago. So if you've been following the channel, you know I've I've been working with the, the adjust the wave system, so the linear loaded um, vertical. So I came up with a a sister antenna. Um, so it still uses a reel, so it's a variable length antenna, but it's it's designed to to be an almost an experimenter's antenna. So it could be used, for example, as a quarter wave vertical. It could be used as an inverted L. Um, it could be used as an N-fed half wave if you have the correct um, anon. Um, but in this instance, what I'm going to, what I've been wanting to use it for, is an NVIS or near um, near ins incidence a vertical sky wave, uh, a near vertical incidence sky wave. I would say that right. Um, so I look basically close to the ground, full full wave loop. Now this antenna that I've come up with, I call it the adjust the wave multi. Um, there's 60 meters of wire in it, um, so obviously if it was using it as an inverted L, your, your 40 meters would give you an antenna for 160. Um, but obviously the, the orientation I have it in, I have it in just now. Um, I could you could work anything down to 60 meters if you have that in your country. So I've got it set on 40 meters. I mean, my garden is quite small. Um, so it's been a bit of a squeeze, it's taken me about half an hour just to get things um, laid out and I have got a match, I've got a, a not a not bad um, SWR 1.2, 1.3 to 1 covering the whole of 40 metres no problem at all. Um, so it's actually the um, uh, SPDX Polish uh, contest this weekend, or I think it is, I got an email about it because I was um, had a little go last year. Um, so hopefully there's going to be some stations on the band um, that we could actually... Um, try the antenna out on but really I'm just wanting to do a bit of listening um, and perhaps some FT8 and see where uh, the antenna is working right so let's go and have a look at the antenna so here's the antenna so you can see that it's the same enclosure that I use for my adjusted wave uh, antennas um, but there's pretty much nothing inside it and um, so we've got a reel here with 60 meters of wire um, on the underside here we have a SO239 and a ground connection but what I've also done is I've also put these two lugs so this connects to these oh, not focusing center conductor this connects to the shield and what that allows you to do is is if you wish is to add a, a transformer of some kind so what I have in here is a two to one ballon and now because this loop is so close to the ground four to one um, probably just not quite right it's you know as, as you get a look closer to the ground the, the, the impedance drops so hence with I went with a two to one now it's my own enclosure but um, it was I actually bought this it was basically pre-wound um, FT240 43 toroid and I just fitted it into my own enclosure with my own SO239 SO and, and such so that's the loop so this is the wire coming off and you can see I've got it running around my garden. Now these white stakes, these are actually electric fence poles. So it's a quite Heath Robinson, because I just want to set it up so you can see it runs down to the bottom of my garden. It runs across. It runs back behind my daughter's little windy house. Back up to this corner. And then, obviously back to, uh, once I come round here, and I have it on here. So I actually have my, so then obviously I have my coax plugged into the 2 to 1 balance. So let's, let's have a little look at the analyzer and see what we've got. So that's what I've actually got it tuned to. So you can see that it's about uh, 1.3 to 1, and I have it on the middle of the band here, certainly for Europe. 
so roughly it's plus or minus 194 so say 200 uh, 200 kilohertz so so that's 400 kilohertz bandwidth so even in the states that would give you easily below two to one for your seven to seven point three but we only have seven to seven point two here um, in Europe so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the um, coax from here I've got a little coax feed in here in my tower and I'll be able to run it um, into my shack so once I do that we'll go and have a look at the uh, radio end so I did eventually get um, things working um, the, you've seen the good SWR on the analyzer but when I hooked it up in the shack um, it was sky high so Anyway, I found out that the patch lead that I was using is a little bit um, dodgy, so I replaced that and, and all's good. So this band is really, really busy, 40 metres, so um, we've actually made a couple of contacts already, three contacts, just into Poland in the, the, the contest, and first call right in there. So the antenna is working, and I noticed that when I came on here that I had to touch the, the ref, on the 7300 because I had to turn it way up um, so that's telling me that it's got a much lower noise floor if you look at the noise floor in here it's maybe it's hard to tell it's hard to tell maybe an S4 S4 and S3 well normally um, I'm getting S7 noise here so it's a much quieter antenna than what the um, off center fed dipole is But the band is jumping. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. Your five nine zero zero one. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. QSL Whiskey, 59002, number two. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. QSL 59003, number three. Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray. QSL I've had um, a FT8 running for about eight or nine minutes. I see, I see a spot there with eight minutes, so that must be uh, when it was on. So where I am, I am here, and this is the spread I'm getting with this antenna, and I'm mightily impressed. Um, and this is what I'm, and it's really for N. This is what I'm wanting, although it's the, the it's a bit longer for tonight. But um, I worked a couple of SSB stations in Poland, which they are here. And you could see that the this is where the antenna is hitting, um, so it's really working that area no really really well. Um, so I'm going to run it for a, a little bit longer. And um, I want to see if you know the kind of spread. I have had stations. I've been um, spotting stations from Kuwait, um, Middle East, um, Asiatic Turkey. But that's not what I'm looking to do. So th this antenna, I'm just looking to see what you know. It's it's designed as an invis antenna, so that's what I'm want wanting it to be. Um, but it's really, really performing well. 
that's FT8 been running for around about half an hour, and maybe slightly over. And the results are pretty much as expected. So I'm getting this really nice spread, um, you know, in a kind of central Europe. Um, so what's that, about 1200 kilometers? what's that, 1000 miles? 800 miles? So yeah, there's really nice spread around in this radius here. And normally I would expect to see some spots from the States, but I'm not seeing that, and that's good. And, cons and also, um, usually I see one or two spots coming from VK, as you can see they're coming into the, the um, grey line. But I'm not seeing that, so that's good. But what I do see is I do see stations that are working VK, but I'm not hearing them. Um, so, I mean, obviously this antenna is designed for NVIS. Um, I'd need to do a lot of testing during the day. But, I mean, take um, tonight's contest or this weekend's contest, for example. You want an antenna that's going to work into Poland. This is this antenna is going to do it. Um, so yeah, really, really, really impressed. Um, considering it's you know it's where it is in my garden and it's really surrounded by a lot of obstructions. Um, it really seems to be doing well. So it's now the day after the night before. So I think the antenna test was was really good, quite successful quite encouraging. Um, you've seen around my garden here that it's really far from ideal. I appreciate that my garden some, is bigger than other people's. You know, we all want a bigger garden, including me. But considering that where the, the wire was running, running right up against the fence, right around my property, and it, it still seemed to perform um, extremely well. Uh, I'll need to get it, try and get it tested out through the daylight hours and see how close the NVIS uh, effect is. Um, but, um, you know, obviously, where the, where the, um, where the skip was, it, it was ideal for the, for the Polish contest. Uh, you know, that's where my signal was hitting and the stations that I worked there, it was first call for every one of them. Um, so that was, that was really, really good. So if, you, if you're thinking about trying a loop antenna, I would thoroughly recommend it. Um, you don't need to go to the links to what I've done. Um, all you need is a bit of wire, full wave, um, so 40 metres for 40, obviously 20 for 20, roughly, and do the formula. Um, and in my case, I used a 2 to 1 uh, ballon, but you may need a 4 to 1 ballon. It just depends. It depends what your ground conditions are like and so on. Uh, you know, as I said earlier, if your loop is closer to the ground, typically your impedance gets lower. Whereas if you got it up in good height, then it would be around about 200 ohms, so you would need your 4 to 1. So give it a go. Um, you know, make your own ballon, buy one like I did, or buy your own um, transformer, fit it in your own box. But I really think the loop antenna has got a lot of potential. I, I ran a loop years ago uh, when I still stayed at my parents' house, and that was actually an 80 meter loop. But I have it, I had it um, optimized for 40 meters, so it only really covered the CW portion of 80. And it was a fantastic antenna, and it wasn't high off the ground. The highest point was probably 25 feet. And then the lowest point was maybe 10 feet. Um, so it was a real cloud warmer. But as it was two wavelengths on 40 metres, it seemed to have a path, a um, short path into, into VK. And I worked VK a number of times in that antenna SSB. So um, Norman VK7AC through the summer. No, okay, it was the peak of the sunspot cycle. Um, but, you know, you'd be calling out, you know, 7, 8 o'clock at night, um, local time. And, um, you know, everyone in Europe's trying to go back to them. And, you know, quite a few times I was the first person to, 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 get, to go back to them. So, so real, you know, if, give a loop a try. It's a, it's a great antenna. It's a quiet antenna. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's the story. Um, I'm going to keep plodding on with this antenna. I want to see if I can actually get some sort of configuration for 60 metres. It's getting quite popular here in the UK. So I'll need to do some sort of um, zigzag or... Um, some sort of configuration so if I can get the, the, the 60 metres of wire out of my garden but that's a, that's a project uh, for another day so I hope you uh, liked the video please give me the thumbs up, subscribe, share the video do what you can, it's all appreciated and until the next time we'll see you then